How's everyone doing today? Here we are for another episode of Suds on Saturday. This week brings us Jessup Farm Barrel House Wood Knot. Um, unfortunately, it's a little warm now. It was pretty cool and overcast this morning, so I thought this would. Oh, whoops! That's not supposed to be in frame. Um, I thought it would be nice to do a what is this? A whiskey barrel aged tropical stout. Whatever a tropical stout is, that does sound interesting. But the sun's come out and it's warmed up and I realized I'm in Phoenix. However, I did see someone with the CSU Rams license plate at the mall and unfortunately I didn't get to meet that person. But maybe there are more Rams fans and Fort Collins people here than I'm aware of. So um, I know I've talked about Jessup Farms in the past. And I know I just mentioned it yesterday with my uh, Festivus Feats of Strength. But they are my second favorite brewery in Fort Collins. I mean, I know I love Horse and Dragon, <coughs> oh, excuse me, and Funk Works, and Equinox, and McClellan's. Let's see what else. Cooper Smith's pretty good. I don't like Rally King. Gilded Goat. Okay, we can go on and on. I mean, we're not listing the great breweries of Fort Collins, but Jessup Farm's great. They specialize in barrel-aged beers. Uh, they're on Timberline and Drake, I believe. So they're on the eastern side of town, but hop, skip, and jump away is always Uber. Um, they specialize in barrel aged beers. Um, right now, I've had about seven of their beers, I think. Everything's been excellent. Um, Pizza Strength is still my favorite. That was a whiskey barrel aged Imperial Stout. Uh, the Vice with Age was a, uh, what was it? I have a Vice and Aged in gin barrels with elderberries. Was an elderberries. It was, oh, what was in it? Ah, wish I still had the bottle. Lavender, chamomile, and something else. I forget what it was, but oh God, that was amazing. And then they had a gin barrel aged double IPA that was unbelievable. My mom was there. She had the Hellas Lager, I believe, and that was even good. That wasn't even barrel aged, but everything they make is just unbelievable. So. Probably when I go back in January, I'm going to spend a little more time there than usual. Uh, usually I'm in and out within an hour, but I think I'm going to spend a little more time in that place and really enjoy it. So today, um, I think I picked this up at Wilbur's. Yeah, I didn't buy this at the brewery. Uh, Wilbur's my favorite liquor store. I, I always go there to see if they have anything interesting. Uh, they usually do. Unfortunately, this trip they did not. But I didn't want to go away empty handed, so I picked up what not. It is, let's see, it was bottled May 18th, comes in at 6.75% ABV, and it is brewed and bottled in the wonderful city of Fort Collins, Colorado. Okay, uh, chewy mouthfeel, deliciousness, smooth chocolatey vanilla, cocoa, toffee, roasted oak. Da -da -da. Okay, that's what it says on the bottle, but let's give it a whirl. It's got a really nice tan head. Pours a really nice dark black. God, that's a good looking beer. I have not had this at the brewery. This is my first time trying it, so I don't know if I said that already. The body just looks amazing. Excellent lacing of the glass. Wow. All right, smell it. Definitely chocolatey. Oh, this is good. See, this is why I hate white on the poor comments. Because I only bought one. I should have bought like two. The three. Oh, yeah, smells great. Vanilla chocolate and a little bit of oak. <laughs> Slight toffee. I know it says toffee, but I'm not getting too much of that. Oh, it smells amazing. So let's give it a whirl. Cheers. Sorry, I was just picturing myself at the bar at Jessup Farms. It's really nice. It's a uh, uh, they redid a barn house. It's a really nice bar. You go upstairs, like you walk in. There's all these barrels. I know I've taken pictures of it several times. Then you walk upstairs, and it's a nice old farmhouse. And the bar sits about 15. There's some wooden benches in the back with some tables. It's just a really nice bar. So I was just picturing myself there. What is it? 52 days. So, excellent beer, um, full bodied, large chocolate presence, 
um, slight oak and coffee on the finish and a little vanilla sweetness after it all ends um, definitely a great beer a little too warm today unfortunately I should have had this a couple of hours ago except it was way too early to drink a couple of hours ago so I don't know what's so tropical about it I don't get it well, nothing tropical but it's delicious as it is so just just a great beer um, 10 10 would buy again it's so good wow I really love Jessica Farms I'm not really getting a whiskey though you know, it says it's whiskey barrel age, but I'm not really like if you think really hard you can kind of grab a faint whiskiness to it but it wasn't something I picked out until I actually read the bottle but kind of on the finish, you can grab some of it. Um, it is pretty sweet. It's definitely chocolate dominant. Um, but it's so good. So good job, Jessup Farm, for brewing another amazing beer. Um, really looking forward to heading back there. Probably one of my first stops. Um, I know, you've got the passport, so it'll be buy one, get one. So there you go. But uh, all in all, I'm going to end this and just reminisce a little bit on my many trips to Fort Collins and the many more to come. So here's to feeling good all the time, and here's to our choice city.